Well, the situation in Somalia has a long history and uh, I think if we're to go back to the very basics of it, it has to do with global warming, which is a global phenomenon, a climate change. Uh, but that is just at the most general level because uh, this is a phenomenon that affects most part of the world, but you don't have famine declared in all parts of the world. I think in the case of um, Somalia, what really has complicated uh, what is uh, a natural uh, drought uh, situation is uh, the political crisis in that part of the world. Uh, for over 20 years now, Somalia has been without a functioning uh, government and uh, it's uh, simply been chaos and what the drought and uh, the environmental changes, climatic changes have done is uh, make worse an already chaotic uh, situation. Uh, so at the roots of uh, these uh, famine and the declaration of famine is really uh, the political crisis that has uh, uh, enveloped this region of the world for over two decades. This is also a very vulnerable and troubled part of the world. I mean, um, extremist movement, Islamic extremist movement, have traditionally found these parts of the world uh, a refuge. And the worry is that uh, a humanitarian crisis uh, such as this will just create opportunities for political instability, uh, not just in already troubled Somalia, but in relatively stable uh, neighboring countries like Ethiopia and Kenya, who now have to bear the brunt of these masses of refugees uh, flowing into, into, into their country. So I will definitely say uh, that this is one of the most urgent humanitarian uh, crises, uh, not just in the region, but, but, but in the world, just because of uh, the implications, the social and political implications, if not adequately addressed.